You've probably heard it said many times. Eat, drink and be happy because tomorrow, who knows? I'll tell you a little bit first of all about these characters. Because as you can see, they're very happy, they're jolly, they're dancing, they're making merry, they're drinking, they're smoking, they're telling jokes. Why are they having such a good time? Because, look at them, they've reached retirement age. So they're celebrating, no more work. Well, I'm not going to talk any more about that because there's other things to talk about. I want to talk about this man here. He's a young executive in a very big company, doing very well for himself, earns a very good salary, has a lovely flashy car, lives in an apartment, garden apartment, just across the park there, with his beautiful wife, Eve. Adam and Eve. <laughs> Adam and Eve. The first two people that God made. And they lived in a garden. Anyway, on with this story. Adam, as I said, is an executive in a big company. And it's his job to take out clients to uh, have a few drinks and try to get some business. Because that's his job. Well, when he's not working, he goes out with his friends. They go down to the pub like normally and they have a drink or two or three or four or more and you know the next day he wakes up with a headache and he goes please tell me it's not Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or Friday but it's the weekend. Sadly to say it's still only Tuesday. Well he's not very happy with what the drink does for him. He's not in control. Well, that's one of his demons. Let me show you his demons. There's one. That's the demon of drink. That's the one that says, just have another one. You're okay. Your friends can take you home. Or you can get an Uber. But you're okay. Well, his next demon is the demon of smoking. Maybe you say nothing wrong with smoking. Maybe not. But he's starting to think, often I'm in a small confinement and when I smoke, all what I'm smoking is going into the room and other people are breathing it in. If it's not really good for me, how much better can it be for them? And he's not happy with that. And then we have the demon of blasphemy. Yes, blasphemy. You see, when he's had those drinks, that tongue gets loosened. He has his smoke and his head is not quite so clear. And he now starts to tell jokes. But not any jokes, but the sort of jokes that and not really funny. And more than that, he starts to join in with his friends with the swearing and the blaspheming, taking the name of the Lord in vain. Well, they are the things that are really worrying him, and it's good that they are. But what's he going to do about it? Well, that's the very question that he asked himself. He said, what am I going to do? I want to be free of all things. I want to be free of this chain of sins. That suitcase, can you imagine how many links are in that case? Oh, he is not a happy man. They so say he wants to be free. So he decides he's going to face his demons. So we turn him around and he can now face his demons. There they are, the main things in this life that he wants to be free of. Well, let me just turn another one round, because we're going to try and get rid of some of his sins. We 
we just mix them up a bit because that's what his life is like all mixed up so what do we got the two demons are in the middle and we know that Adam is one of these so first of all what we're going to do Do you think Adam is behind here or behind here? You think it's behind this one? Well, let's have a look. No, it's not. So, it has to be one of these. Well, it can't be this one. Well, it could be that one, actually, because you don't know what's behind it. But um, it could. No, it can't. It can't be there. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on this and I'm going to just get rid of another demon. But first of all, let me just put those down because I want to put this one inside the envelope. The envelope that says choose sin or freedom. So we've got rid of one, we've got rid of two. And one of these, which obviously at the moment is this one. It's Adam. What we're going to do, we're going to turn this around and slowly mix them up. And hopefully you will follow where Adam is. Go a little bit faster now, shall I? Now, here's the question. Is Adam here or is he here? Is this Adam or is that Adam? Now, let's do a little secret. I know which one he is. And I'm not going to give you any clues, but I know which one he is. It's up to you to decide which one you think is Adam. Is he this one or that one? Or you think he's that one? Oh, well, you're wrong, because that is this one. This is that. Remember, I said this or that. So, this or that. You want this. You shouldn't have listened to me because I was deceiving you. But now we know where Adam is. So one more time, just to give it a little mix. We even turn it around. I can turn it the other way. Now, is Adam there or is he there? It could be there or it could be there. Where do you think he is? You think he's there? You think this is Adam? Well, that doesn't really look like Adam, does it? So there's Adam. No, that's the demon. There's Adam. No, that's the demon. There's no, that's the demon as well. So, where is he? Of course, he's in the envelope. But, I want to tell you something. Remember we said that Adam wanted to face his demons. He wanted to deal with them. But he wasn't really sure how to do it. Well, one day he heard a voice. And the voice called him by name. It said, Adam. And he heard the voice, but he couldn't see anyone. And he goes, yes. Because he's a bit hesitant in answering what, to who he can't see. And he goes, yes. And that voice, a bit louder, goes, Adam. And they're starting to think, am I hearing in my head? And he goes, yes, I'm Adam. Who are you? And the voice said, I am Jesus. I am the Son of God, and I came to help you to be free of your sins. Would you like my help? Oh, yes, yes, Lord, I want to, to be free. That's good. But although it's free, it did actually cost me my life to make you free. To set you free, 
I had to pay the price of death. In fact, this is what happened. On the cross, I died for you. It only took the one cross and three nails to equal forgiven. All you have to do, Adam, is say, Lord, I believe you died and rose again from the dead so that I can be free of my sins. Choose sin or freedom. What's your choice?